Hello everyone, Keenan here. All PC gamers want the fastest and most reliable internet connection, but so many things can mess it up. The internet can cut out, your flatmate can start downloading a movie, and oftentimes, unless otherwise directed, the router doesn't even make the best possible connection. That means you could be leaving vital bandwidth power all on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't want that. This is where the Predator Connect X5 5G comes in. It has a feature set that gives you the power and flexibility to determine where your bandwidth goes and doesn't go. Now, with a 5G SIM, which can also handle 4G connections, you can use your 5G internet speeds to act as a second active connection for your household alongside your main ISP WAN. Whoa. With two connections active, you could set the 5G to handle tasks less demanding than high intensity online games, so you could get your priorities straight. Or you could even use the 5G as a backup connection, which can automatically kick in should your main internet cut out. Yeah, that's right. You can even set it so it switches fast enough so you don't get kicked out of your online match and you don't lose that precious skill rating. We are living in the future. Very impressive stuff. Let's begin by taking a look at the specifics. The most important place to begin when speaking about a router is the speeds it can handle. Strap in boys and girls, this one is going to blow you away. The Predator Connect X5 5G CPE can handle up to 4.7 gigabytes per second. That is a stupidly high number. I'm not even sure what hacker man has access to internet that fast yet. But if you get one of these, you could be secure in knowing when speeds become more competitive in your area, this router will be able to easily keep up for the long run. To hammer that home, fiber right now is typically up to one gig, so it may take some time to reach the X5's potential, but until it does, I'm certain you'll be more than interested in the other functionality this impressive little device is holding. The X5 has two modes you can use, failover mode, which we'll talk about later, and load balance. Load balance is effectively a split connection that allows you to run two wide area networks or WANs at once. One will be from your mainline internet connection and another from a 5G SIM card, both running simultaneously through the whole household. This dual approach offers a lot of flexibility with its customization options. With the Predator Connect software, you have the power to customize what tasks or devices use which of the two connections. This can be incredibly useful if you have multiple people on the Wi-Fi friends, flatmates, chilling out, they can easily download and stream content using the mobile network whilst you have full access to the mainline connection speeds. Or of course, whatever is faster and best suited to you. Load balance is a huge benefit when you consider the fluctuations in speed that those other interferences tend to cause. Or even for yourself, multitasking by playing games and watching content. Or even if you're a streamer, being able to split the workload to your preference can really give you the tools to optimize performance. You can set certain devices to a certain connection and even limit the bandwidth speed so you don't have something accidentally hogging more bandwidth than you prefer. To be honest, this is the future because almost everything we do is online competing for bandwidth. I really feel like this is gonna be one of those things we cannot believe we survived without. The second mode is called failover, which allows you to use your 5G connection effectively as a backup to kick in automatically if you ever have an internet outage. Gamers, you do not need me to tell you this, but you know when your internet fails you in the middle of a ranked match. Yeah, same. With the Predator Connect software, you can set the sensitivity of the backup. You can set how long it will take or how weak it will let the connection be before the 5G connection automatically kicks in. It will also automatically switch back to the primary connection once it's all been restored. All of this just gives you a great quality of life luxury that eliminates so many annoyances. No more newbie panics or anger levels going zero to 100 real quick because you've been kicked out. The router does all the work and you could just keep on playing. Big brain moment for our director Ed, he decided to test the failover mode by simulating tripping over the ethernet cable to see if he could join back in an online rank match before he was kicked out for good. Now, if you're lucky enough to have both fiber internet and 5G, in the event of your internet cutting out, you might not even notice a dip in performance when it switches. Imagine losing connection, but not losing connection. What? Yeah. There are even more cool things that the Predator Control software can do for you. Killer Control Center is tech from the good old folks over at Intel. Killer Control allows you to set priority for your bandwidth based on what task it is. Easy answer, by the way. You want to focus on game acceleration to take priority over anything else. You know, streaming, calls, websites with annoying pop-ups. But hey ho, that's just one man's opinion. By doing this, you can both strengthen and stabilize your connection. You can reduce your lag, lower ping, have fewer spikes, experience less jitter and less packet loss. All in all, you can reduce all this clutter messing up your connection with just one setting. If you are unsure how to customize your connection, Fear not, the Predator Control software tracks traffic and data usage so you can easily determine what's seen away your bandwidth, coincidentally every time you line up a headshot in Valorant. Ed knows exactly what I'm on about. Immortal, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
The Predator Connect X5 5G CPE also uses What The Fast Gamer Private Network. What The Fast optimizes your connection by choosing the most intelligent route for your data to flow. See it as using a private motorway when all the other roads are blocked full of traffic. Again, here you can expect an improvement in ping and reliability with fewer spikes, packet loss, and jitter. What The Fast is also super useful if you play a lot of peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer games as it hides your IP address, which will help protect you from DDoS attacks. One last extra that is really cool is that it has a USB port, which means you can easily move and share files, whether it's network drives, game saves, picture or media content. This is another bad boy feature that makes managing data between your devices super easy. Well, I bet you didn't expect a router could be so interesting, did you? Thank you very much for sticking to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe consider leaving a like, hit the subscribe button, whack that bell on so you don't miss any other videos. I've been Keenan. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.